Good morning everybody and welcome back to the Sullivan family on this beautiful Day. Saturday morning. Day. We're actually in Lossy Mouth, obviously because it's swimming. Everybody all right? What, yeah. what, 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 do you want to say something? It's very hot today. It's not yeah. hot. It's not hot. It's just nice. It's warming up. Leah, We're I getting there. Leah, I Excuse me. We're getting to the point now. Daddy, it's getting to spring. It is getting to spring, you're right. We're getting to the point now where I'm thinking about digging out my shorts. Daddy. Daddy. I know. It's getting to the point now. Digging out my shorts. It's yes. Getting, I was playing a game on my iPad. Yes. And I went to go play some first place. Well done. Is that good? Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Okay, good. That's well done. It feels like Daddy. I need to start digging out my swimsuits. <laughs> well, Daddy. Okay. I don't think it's that warm yet. I think it's starting. <laughs> I think it's going to be starting to go to the quarry. Quarry? Can we go, can we yeah. go in the pool? Uh, I can't. Joseph, keep on the path, darling. We're going to walk around. That's it. Got Joseph with us today. Say hi, Joseph. Hi. Say hi. In our garden, can we get the pool out? I'm not getting the pool out. Can we get the bounce castle? No, I'm not getting the pool out. Uh, not a chance. So no, I'm not getting the bounce castle out because I'll need about a thousand pound electric. Um, I might do, we'll do that in the summer, yeah? But, well, I've totally lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Yes, so hi guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. I need to start saying, every time I start the video, please subscribe to our channel, guys, because we really, really, really want to get that YouTube play button. I know we're miles off at the moment, but every little helps. Yes. We need to think about the YouTube play button. Yeah. <laughs> We've been manifesting in the car. This manifesting thing where you visualise um, getting what you, you want. To, you know, you, you visualise, say, Daddy, yes. You have to pretend that you got a YouTube play button right now. Okay, okay. I'm doing it. Right, I've got it. Daddy. Yeah, so we've been visualising in the car and manifesting like and all that sunny. sort of stuff. I love it when it's sunny. Yeah, I love it. I Daddy, absolutely love it, love it Daddy, when it's sunny. Daddy, just get into the That was a bit good. Yeah, so... Um, you get to say, it's summer! <laughs> this isn't frozen. It's not frozen. Uh, what am I trying to say? Yeah, please subscribe to our channel, guys, because we want to build the numbers. That would be fantastic if we could just keep building. And I'm going to try and say that more every time I start the video. Today, right, obviously swimming. We're going to get into swimming right now. Um, the whole weekend, me and Zoe have been talking about it, the whole weekend is going to be based around getting these girls... Uh, Agnes and obviously Florence's bedroom because Florence will be moving into that at some point yeah, getting their bedroom it. sorted and when I mean sorted we're just not happy with it at all we're not happy with how it looks how it is uh, Zoe's going to make a start um, this afternoon uh, I think she's doing our bed uh, I think she's doing our bed this morning and she's going to start with the girls going in and tidying up and doing all the pre-work so we can get in there tomorrow I think we're going to be building the new bed that we've got for Agnes which will put storage underneath and all this. anyway we've got this whole plan in our heads of how we want the girls bedroom to look yeah I'm coming I'm coming yes oh are they yeah. oh wicked we Joseph come in Joseph what did you just say brilliant well done I've just seen so a couple of the little children that were at school when Joseph was at school uh, the other day they're here and he just said oh they're my little friends from school so yeah the plan is to get the girls bedroom sorted uh or in a, in a better state anyway in a better state than it is we've got to hurry up we've got to hurry up i'll, I'll chat to you about i'll chat to you a bit more about it in a minute so we're just going to go into swimming now see you tomorrow Good morning guys <clears throat> so Ben is at swimming we didn't actually think we were going to make it this morning to be honest because um I didn't get up to half past six which didn't leave us that long I know they don't have to leave till like nine but when you've got lots of people to to get ready and we have to shower and all that sort of stuff um we need more time but we did make it. We got everybody out. Everybody breakfasted and out the door. 
so they've gone to swim in it's actually quite sunny this morning which is nice to see um i am mr cat housework this morning saturday morning i've got to change our bed change the baby's cot um have a bit of a tidy up Although I feel like I tied it up in here yesterday and it just looks, it's just a dumping ground. Our, our bedroom is just a dumping ground. I think that's the same for all parents, isn't it? All parents' bedrooms are a bit of a dumping ground because that's kind of where everything ends up that doesn't have a home. Because that's just the way it is. I've got lots of things that I need to put into different storage bags. I've got a load of more of five to six stuff that I need to put away that were coats and stuff that Agnes had that I'm putting away for flow. Um, I've got hair on me. I can't find it. It's really annoying. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm up to this morning. Washing to sort out and having a bit of a tidy up in here and changing the beds. And then this afternoon, we're going to make a start on the girls' room. So we are going to put the bed that we bought for Agnes in we're going to put it together tomorrow so today we're going to get in there move the stuff around um have a bit of a clean and tidy and sort and then tomorrow um we should be able to put i say we i'm not doing it ben and isabel are going to do it put the bed together um i've got to do the boys beds tomorrow so while they're putting the bed together, I'm going to do that. So hopefully it will all fit in. And then hopefully the weather will be nice tomorrow afternoon and we can go for a walk. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping the sunshine's here for the whole weekend so that we can go for a walk tomorrow afternoon. Fingers crossed. But for now, I'm going to get on with it here. Okay, back again. So swimming went all right. Yeah. Everybody's doing really, really well. Could really do with a week off though, or a couple of weeks off. It's just a rush. Oh, look at my, how red my face is. It is about a thousand degrees in that swimming pool. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so um, we can really do a couple of weeks off now. It's kind of, um, you have to, we have to be up the same time we are on school days. Up, 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 get up, let's go get them ready for swimming because Saturday's the only day we can do we can't really do any of the evenings because of dancing because it, clashes, it all clashes so that's why we do swimming on Saturday morning um yeah I was talking about the bedroom makeover so that's going to be our priority this weekend to be honest the kids actually if the weather stays like this they can go out in the garden but the priority is it's beautiful isn't it what a morning what a morning isn't it it's lovely joseph was very good today as well weren't you yeah. sat down playing his ipad yes yeah, so the priority is to get the girl's bedroom into some sort of order because both me and zoe are fed up of tripping over stuff and it just doesn't you know when it just doesn't look right it doesn't look right so we've been talking about it this week what can we do obviously we bought the bed bought the bed ages ago bed. yeah your bed yay your new bed yeah so we bought that ages ago yeah that's right so eventually what we're trying what we're trying to achieve is to get florence into agnes's bed on the bottom yeah agnes will have her own bed the twins will still be doing what they're doing so but the I'm bedroom gonna should this. i'm gonna have to get that way so then i can look out the window exactly but the bedroom should, should um, be a bit better than it is now. I mean, it's difficult because... Wait, is Mummy doing my bed today? Uh, you, no, you, no, tomorrow. We're going to do the bed tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, We're going to do all the preparation work this morning and then do the bed tomorrow. That's the plan. So I can't move in station. That's the plan. Uh, it might change, but that is the plan. Yeah, it's just to make the most of that room. When it's Mummy always going to be... When Mummy has 
build the base of the bed, I'm gonna put my teddy. Uh, I'm building the bed, thank you. Me, yeah. I've got. I'm gonna get my screwdrivers out. Yeah. Yeah. And then after when you've done that, I'm gonna put my teddy sword. Okay, cool. All of them. Yeah, it's always gonna be difficult when you've got 14 people time. in a house like ours. So we have to just make the most of the space. Utilize as much space as possible. Make it as comfortable as possible. Right, are we going to go home? Yeah. We're going to go home? Yeah. Good swimming, guys. Right, we're going to cross the road yeah. and we're going to go home. Isabel so cute with Florence out there, playing little bubbles. So cute, honestly. The weather's amazing. I've had a little chat with Zoe. Oh, by the way, I let the cat in. <laughs> I did just leave him out there meowing. I let him in. I just came around the corner. I was, I was filming the bubbles outside and just came around the corner and the cat was mewing in the front door. So I've let him in. Um, Zoe's just taking Noah to work. He's working for a couple of hours this afternoon. And um, I've had a chat with Zoe, so we're gonna, we're gonna, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna let the kids play out in the garden, I think. I think, I think that's what we decided. It's a little bit of an, I don't know today, it's a, weird, it's a weird one. I might just let them play out in the garden today. So rather than, rather than going off for some mountaineering expedition, we'll uh, let them play in the garden, bounce on the trampoline. But um, no, Zoe's made a start upstairs. I think she's I think she's done the bits that she wants to get done in our bedroom. So we're going to make a start this afternoon. Hey, who's shouting? Yeah, so she's uh, going to make a start in the girls' bedroom this afternoon. Like I said earlier, and I am going to just let Zoe take the lead, and then when she wants me to do stuff, I'll do stuff. I think that's how I'm going to play it. But at the moment, we're going to make lunch. Um, it is quarter to 12, so we're going to get lunch done and get lunch out of the way. And then um, we'll see what the afternoon brings. But so far, so good, especially with the weather. I get one. I am top the wrong one. Oh, you have to swap them around. Right, so the plan is as well as having a bit of a clean and a sort out in here. I just stood on a, I stood on a cat on a surfboard. Yeah, there's, there's literally. And there's a dog on a surfboard as well. Um, the plan is that has been moved here. What is here has been moved up there. Olivia's gonna sort out the Barbie stuff. I'll give that a bit of a clean. Isabel's gonna help me with this stuff. Um, yeah. That's going to take a lot of effort. That's a pretty big eye. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to make a start. But we've also oh, got to sort out all the stuff in the window. It's a bit of a mess over there. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to start sorting this lot out. Look at the necklaces. I know. I'm having a reaction. Oh, I give it to you. Give it to your state of mind. You don't want to be distracted. No, you're having a reaction. Oh, I can feel the truth.
I just spent the last half an hour trying to untangle the necklaces that they have here um, because they were in a big knot. So I stopped the time lapse after a while because I thought we're going to be forever. But they are now untangled. Um, so now we're going to move some more furniture. Okay guys, as you can see, you might be cold though, Joseph. You might be cold. Whoa, that is smooth. That is really smooth. Uh, so as you can see, we are out for a walk. We're gonna try and head to Cumminston uh, to go to the park with the big slide. Uh, I've got Eva with me pushing the buggy. We're trying to get Flo to go to sleep. She hasn't really had a nap today. And she's, we think she's teething. So he's given us some cow pole and stuff. Um, but we thought, so I, I asked Zoe if she wanted any help and she said, nah, not today. Uh, you just do the building tomorrow. So I was like, that's fine by me. I'll come out for a walk instead. So we've just come down for a walk, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a mermaid's press there. Uh, oh no, no, it's, no it's not. It's not it's mermaid's, mermaid's purse, purse at all. Yeah, mermaid's purse is a shark's um, egg. They look like mermaid's purses, but it wasn't a mermaid purse. It was a bit of burnt plastic. Okay, so uh, David Bellamy, eat your heart out, yeah, on that one. But it's lovely today. It's lovely. It's a bit windy when you get in the wind, but you know. Right, are we going to carry on? Yeah. Okay, so that is why I'm on a walk at the moment, is because I've been turfed out of the house. I don't, I'm not needed. And that is fine by me, because I should just come out and do this. On one of my lovely walks. Welcome to Scotland. Whew. Okay, so Florence was in the buggy going absolutely banzai. So I had to take, that's why I stopped vlogging for a minute because I had to carry her. So Danny's had a really good workout today, haven't I? She's definitely out of sorts today. Definitely out of sorts. Definitely. But we're at the bridge, which means we're nearly at the park. 
which is good because my arm's breaking. <laughs> There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my spinning ball I'm remembering the words you told Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait. Well, that was a lot of fun, Hi. wasn't it? Yeah. That was a lot of fun. But we're now going home. They've puffed me out. It's good exercise, though. Really good exercise. We're going home, guys. It's time for a cup of coffee. That's, you can't even see the sea. I was trying to show you the sea, but it doesn't, why can't you see it? It's the light. There is sea there, I promise. Um, that's it for today in here. So we have moved, I'll just turn the video off, sorry. This is over here now. This is where Agnes's bed is gonna go, here, where Agnes is standing down to here is where it's a mid it's the ikea cure bed the so um they'll just be shoved somewhere so it's the one that you can have um on the floor or this flip it over and have it as a mid bed. sleeper so it, it will come to about here this is my last time on this bed um yeah and this will all be underneath just that that will just fit underneath so the wardrobe is now over there and the drawers are there Isabel is there. We need a shelf here for the switch stuff. For the switch and the TV, the TV stuff. Um, all of this stuff will live underneath the bed, and then when they want to play under there, they can just put it out and or they can set the bed. it will give it somewhere to tidy away. We've moved. Oh, that's Agnes. We've moved the long extension lead with all the charges in, which is normally just gets in the way. We've moved it down there. And the shorter one is there for the TV now. And obviously, they've got all their Barbie stuff in these units behind the door. Um, Bella's put a picture up as well, one picture. We're still deciding whether to put the other ones up. Um, because they have the big one down here. And I don't think we're going to be able to put those other ones up. I think they might have to go into storage for a while. Because they've all got a name print, which I don't know what to do with this stuff either just yet. Um, and that stuff. That's the last of... I've sorted through this entire unit. I've sorted through it all um, and tidied it up. Um, this is the pile, the pile left to sort and those bits there. 
but yeah they've all got a name print which i think we're going to put up with their little shelves that they've got to go up i think we Is might we might put the big picture up there possibly that yeah that says everything we need to do I think we might put it up there. There's not much, unfortunately, there's not much wall space left. Um, so, yeah, we might put it up there. Um, obviously, when we had four girls in the same room in the old house, um, the bigger room, they had quite a lot of stuff in, but it was quite a big room. That had two sets of bunk beds, and obviously we had, we had two wardrobes in there, two set bunk beds, two sets of bunk beds, two, three... Two big unit, two big cube units between yep. the beds, and yep. two sets of drawers or three sets of drawers. Yeah, two sets of drawers. Two sets of drawers. And so, a massive dollhouse. And a big dollhouse. There was a lot of room in that bedroom, and then in the small room where we also had two sets of bunk beds, um, but then they didn't have. They did have a cube unit. Yeah, they didn't have like a sixteen or something. Uh, no, they had an eight, I think, but they didn't have a wardrobe. Um, obviously, we've got a big wardrobe in here now. Um, because the Eva's wardrobe used to be out on the landing because we had a really big landing as well. Um, so we, we used to fit two wardrobes out on the landing as well as like all the washing baskets and all that sort of stuff because we had quite a lot of space out there as well. You have been to it now. But we can't do that here. So... Um, we couldn't fit two sets of bunk beds in here because that kind of would have been another idea would have been to have two sets of bunk beds. Um, although we could have fitted them in, but it wouldn't have left space for anything else. Um, so the mid sleeper idea is so that we can fit all of this stuff still in the room underneath. It's kind of the best idea we could come up with to fit everybody and every thing in. And fingers crossed it will work. And I hadn't realised quite how much light the wardrobe blocked from the room um because the window is off center so it does if you block it it does block out quite a lot of light so i think agnes will like sitting here and looking at the sea you can't see the sea but i can see the sea um because it is a lovely view from here i wanted to show you as well we bought for christmas we bought the twins and agnes some bits for their room so they've got these for like um earrings and stuff can't do it with one hand so each one opens i can't do it with one hand there we go so all of them open like that they can, they can go like this wait see yeah so i bought that for because they haven't got their ears pierced yet but they want to get their ears pierced so they got they show some earrings and stuff they wanted it for the necklaces really but they came with earrings too um because they want to get their ears pissed so i got that was like a fiver from sheen they also got this little necklace stand which is what we just spent i don't know how long undoing all their necklaces because they'd all got tangled up um actually you only have to look at necklaces for them to get tangled and it's got a little tray at the bottom as well for bits and pieces that was a fiver from sheen as well i think they were like four pounds 70 or something it was under a fiver these are all their old jewelry boxes They've all got these. The only one that doesn't have one out of all of the girls is Flo. Yep. And um, my one's fading away. I'm gonna get her one for her birthday. My clothes are fading away. Because now. they, so the older ones, I had one when I was little, and then the older ones had had one um, when they were small. And you don't get them all that often anymore. You can buy them online, but you don't get them. You know, people don't have them anymore. But they're, they're the ones with the little. Mine's a Cinderella one from about like 15 years ago. When did, you, when did we get ours? You had yours when you were small. Like baby small? Um, young, small. I wanted them all to have a jewellery box, like I had. Mine had a little fairy in it. Mine's So I think, I don't know which one that one is actually. But these, these were from, I think they were from Amazon. So I'm going to try and get Flow one as well, the same, because there's a unicorn one. Um, and then there's a princess one, That's Leah's. which got a little princess. And then there is a ballerina one, which is, I think that one's Erin's actually. Yeah. I think the ballerina one is Erin's. Leah's is the princess and Agnes's is the unicorn. So I'm going to try and get another one for Flo because they're all in their window. Um, obviously the girls don't use theirs anymore. They're put away in their in their memory boxes. 
but it's got all the jewellery that you know they had when they were little and things that I've still got mine in my bedroom. Oh have you? It's right in one of my back of my drawers. So special bits and pieces they keep in them to um you know things that they want to keep hold of. The other thing we got um for the girls is these little lights. Um how cute are they? They're only small, they were only like a couple of quid each. At from Sheen, obviously. So they've got they've all got one. But they're to go on their little shelves. Um oh, so I've not got any batteries in here. One's not got any batteries in. Um I don't think Flo's just got any batteries in. So they're for them to have on their little shelves, which I still have to paint. We still are gonna paint them. And then um it's just it just hold a couple of things like a book and something else and a couple you know like things that they just have in their bed space so we're going to put their pictures their name print pictures and their two little shelves in their bed space and um, with their little lights on them uh and yeah i'm not quite sure i'm gonna have the shelf up over there shelf up there i don't know if agnes shelves will go there i'm not entirely sure what here on that wall yeah but what if we put the other shelf up higher up? But then I don't know if we need another shelf now. For the lights? But then I've put a barbie light up there now and that looks quite nice and I thought you could have the other one up below the TV and then they can have all their own little lights on their shelves. That's true. So we might not need it. I think we've got extra shelves. It's always handy to have shelves, isn't it? The other thing we bought was these. <laughs> That's Toby. I don't even know what that was. Toby, I think. These. Scrunchy holders. They were three pounds from sheen they hold like loads of scrunchies i got the scrunchies from sheen as well and they were really cheap um but the girls obviously like scrunchies so we've got two of them for them to have just, that's just my bottle of cleaning stuff two of two of the scrunchie holders as well and you can fit like loads on there so that's for them too so yeah that's oh these are their barbie lights the twins got them for christmas that was on actually they're both dead no that one's on yeah so i'll put that on top of their barbie unit so yeah it's kind of like we've become a little bit like masters of space over the years of of, of trying to fit everybody into bedrooms and stuff we've become quite good at utilizing all the space but this room has stumped me quite a lot and it's it's been quite difficult to know how to fit everything in but i think i think this will work i've always had a good clean in here which makes me feel better because i feel like i've you know cleaned it all they do have a really nice lovely windowsill in here um they've got big windowsills yeah which is nice so fingers crossed tomorrow when they build the bed it fits properly because if it doesn't i'm gonna cry um the yeah, only make it fit. the only thing we can't fit is we bought a teddy zoo one of the big teddy zoo things. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but basically it's like a big... It's like an elastic cage. Wooden elastic cage for all the teddy bears. And we bought that ages and ages and ages ago. It's still in the box. To put mainly Agnes's teddy bears in because the twins don't actually have many. They've got a few on their bed and then they've got some up on top of the wardrobe. But Agnes has got millions on her bed and then she's got another two massive box fulls, but she adores her teddies. Now, all the older ones... Um, they don't have their teddy. They're all in the storage unit now, to be honest, um, because they don't. They wanted to keep them, but they're all sort of washed up and put away. Um, but Agnes adores her teddies, but we cannot fit the zoo in here. It's not massive, but it's it's going to take up space. So by putting it in the middle of the room, that's the only bit we haven't, the we haven't figured that one out yet. Um, we might possibly have to put it in the boys' room or on the landing. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'll tackle that one tomorrow. I'll have a think about it. But I'm glad. I'm I'm pleased with what we've got done so far today. I think we've done a good job. Um. So yeah, that's it for in here for today. You did a really good job of the girls' room. I know. You did a really good job. I came back from the walk, had a quick look at uh, how Zoe and the girls have got on in the in the little girls' room, and it looks really cool. And I think it's with better. The, the plans that we've got tomorrow, I think it's going to look even better. Do you know what I mean? I Hopefully. think it's going to be really good. I really do. I think it's going to be okay. Um, I make I feel a lot better about how the the layout of the room is now. 
yes. um, from, from basically walking and tripping over stuff. Now it's opened it up a little bit. I know we're going to be putting another bed in there because we I mean, have it's to. Not, it's not but... like massive. The room isn't massive. And some people have sort of said, why don't we swap with them with our room? But the problem is we've got a lot of furniture in our room as well. And then there'd be no room to put that in the other room. And if they kept it in their room, there wouldn't be enough room for their stuff in that. So it just wouldn't. And plus, yeah. their room's now, they've got um, LED lights all around their room. They've got all the bits and pieces set up that they wanted to have set up in there. So it's kind of like... And they love the view, the view as well. Oh, they've got the best view. They love the view. That room and the other biggest room is... Actually, it's probably bigger than our room, is where um, three of the older girls are. Mm. I think it's probably bigger than our room. It probably is. But because it's like <clears throat> up the other staircase, we didn't want any of the little ones... Because the staircase splits off. So we didn't want any of the little ones over in the other part of the house. It's not like it's a million miles away. It's just up a different staircase. But like in the middle of the night, Joseph gets up a lot. I didn't want the baby being up there. Um, and I didn't want us to be up there and the rest of the kids to be over there. Yes, we've got baby monitors and everything like that. But you know, Joseph, if he, if he wakes up, he literally just walks out of his room into our room. Yeah. The little ones. So we've got all the little ones with us. And plus it gives the, it means the old ones I mean, they stay up later. You know, they're online with their friends. That you know, they make more noise. You don't hear them no. over there very much, only a little bit. But you know, they're not. They don't have to be try and be quiet or anything like that any more than normal. No. Um, because you know they're fine over there. So it was the best way. It worked out for us. In, it did. In the, which is there was a mm. lot of thought gone into who sleeps where before we moved in My, a lot a, a lot, lot you have no idea honestly we, we, we even looked at moving the boys out of their room and then swapping over the, uh, but we measured it all up it just doesn't work so much um, and we planned out the rooms we measured the rooms we, you know we it just there was so much thought process with me and the girls especially going through it trying to work out who would be better to sleep where the, yeah, but, this was the best kind yeah, of solution. The so, girls actually like they, they, like, they like the, their room. But I they like their room. I didn't realise how much light that wardrobe was blocking out, so now it's a bit lighter. And I think um, Agnes will love being in bed and being able to look out the window at the sea. They do have a beautiful view from their room. They like being on that side um, because they like to be able to look out the window and see the sea. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there are there, there's pros and cons to every kind of... Which scenario ever, yeah it's whichever way we put it like pros and cons to all of them yep. so um yeah that it's just the best way it worked out for us for many different reasons obviously you know the little ones need to be close to the toilet in the night things like that just worked out the best way so i think it's the first time i've kind of walked into their room and thought i'm happy with this layout um and to be honest they don't play a lot in their room. Do no. they? they bring it downstairs. They, do. they tend to bring their yeah. stuff downstairs. They don't. None of our kids have ever really played that much. Not in their specifically room. in their room. I think they like they to be near bit. us. They do. Oh, they do a little bit. I yeah. mean, the old ones did a little bit. Yeah. But most of the time, if they're playing, they bring their stuff downstairs to play. Mm -hmm. um, everybody kind of likes being in the hub of the house mm -hmm. together, don't they? They always have they done. Um, they do kind being of together. Go off upstairs, maybe in watch their iPad sometimes or I just don't I don't know they just everybody well, likes being in with everybody else yeah. I think it's nice that they can go off upstairs and and have a little bit of quiet time if they want to and occasionally like Erin will go up and play with the Barbies or Leo will go up and play with the Barbies or sometimes they'll all go up and make a tent a tent city out of blankets in their room and you know now they'll have that little bit of space underneath the bed they might well play in there yep. a little bit but yeah they yep. don't None of our kids have ever really gone off on Not really, no. Not, they've never really wanted to, to be away from what's going on downstairs or what we're doing or going out for a walk or whatever, uh, whatever's going on, really. And obviously, now the older ones are older, they spend more time in Yeah, they do. But, um, That's just teenagers, though, isn't it? Even, well, not all Apart from time, Isabel. You know, they all kind Isabel of... Everybody migrates to the lounge come evening time, don't mm -hmm. they? Pretty much everybody migrates to the lounge. Actually, we've got to the point now where there's not enough seats for everyone to sit down. I know. So, um... Then that's space. People have to sit on the, the chair or, um, or the floor because there's not enough space for everyone, which I love. You know, I love the fact that, that, you know, it's full of more little ones during the daytime, but then in the evening, you know, all the older ones kind of migrate to the lounge as well. So it's, um... It's always, you know, it's good. It's good. Let me shut up now. I've got to go out. I'm going to put them, I've got to put the, the little ones to bed tomorrow. I've got to take them out shopping. We had a good walk earlier. It was a really, really good walk. I love that walk. It's good. I like going to that little park. 
It's good fun. Nice. You got a bit of a Timmy. It's a bit of a Timmy Mallet vibe going on there. I don't even think that's Timmy Mallet. I think that's like. Look like a Bond buddy. Kingsman. <laughs> Kingsman, yeah. Oh. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow we're cracking on again with the girls' room. It's been my turn in there with my drill. I have to put the battery on charge. I've forgotten to do that. And Isabel, uh, get all the things built. And then obviously it'll be uh, Zoe then going in and finishing off with final touches. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, guys. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like. Don't forget our link tree in the video description below for all of our social media, our Facebook, our Instagram, the charity homepage at Leopard Fox Designs. Please subscribe, guys. We would love to build our numbers up. Really, really, really would. Uh, and that just leaves me as I to say, thanks for your support, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.